So, indeed, as Martin indicated, the idea of, let's say, the next um, five to ten minutes is to to look into uh, some of the reporting and analytics capabilities that we uh, are able to offer today. Just looking at, uh, let's say, where uh, and what level uh, decisions are typically taken, um, of course, what you typically first thing would, would look at is, yeah, well, some decisions are being made on local level, in a particular legal entity. Uh, However, if you think about it, most of those are not taken on the level of an individual legal entity, but on the level of a business unit, a division, or even on corporate level. Now, if we want to have that information at our fingertips at any moment in time, because at the same time, we all, I think, are aware of the fact that a business person, a sales director, or whoever in the organization doesn't really want to wait till after the close, has taken place, but wants to have the information at any moment in time, we need to make sure that that divisional or corporate uh, information from a finance or from a broader business perspective is available at any moment in time. And that's one of the things which has made us decide to bring the consolidation engine back into the place where our actual information is sitting on a day-to-day -day basis. Starting point, of course, being that yeah, we need to understand what we have available on the level of, for instance, an individual entity. And let's take, as Vodafone is on stage, let's take the UK as one example. Vodafone still makes me think of the UK always, although I know it's a, a global company, I'm sure. So let's have a look at that, right? Just opening a report, for you, I can open up my hierarchy. In this case, I'm just looking at part of my financial information, just my, my balance sheets. One thing which already strikes me is immediately I have my local currency as well as my group currency information. That's the main reason why I picked the UK, because there the difference is clear. If I would like to, I can just bring in any dimension that I like. In fact, uh, Martin already mentioned the single source of truth, which we are capable of delivering today. And in fact, this is the living proof of that. This is what we call our universal journal. Any business dimension, a product or service, a geographical area, a customer group, whatever I can add. Now, the focus of today is not so much about uh, individual product lines being sold, uh, but rather the difference between local and group reporting. So why not just push in my partner unit? Which makes it clear to me that Particularly, as this is a limited demo environment, of course, I'm, taking, uh, I'm having a lot of intercompany relationship with one particular other entity. This is just the information from one site, and typically it's coming from my ERP environment or a finance package, and I upload it into my consolidation tool. Now, let me show you that's not the long, no longer the way that we need to work, because that would be taking so much time in order to get all of the information together consolidated, et cetera, et cetera, to get that at the fingertips of my, for instance, sales director uh, to be able to analyze. So that's not workable anymore. As mentioned, we've moved, let's say, the consolidation engine within our core ERP environment into our S4 HANA environment. And what we can see here, for instance, is that we are just able to, instead of uploading or transferring data, we can just make sure that our unconsolidated information is made available, activated as part of my consolidation process. And of course, on a day-to-day -day basis, my information keeps on changing. And that's also what I should be able to analyze here, right? So I just want to assure in this particular screen that what I'm looking at is my final information, all, of that, I, all that I need, um, for further processing. And that further processing, of course, would mean actually moving it together into one bucket with all of my other entities. So starting at my consolidation process. I still haven't moved any data around. I can start giving a corporate view or a divisional view on all of my information. Of course, after having gone through all of my typical necessary consolidation steps, which I could run, could execute all uh, in one go. I could just do it partially. Um, that's not really the core idea here. 
uh, today. You, there are some detailed sessions uh, through the conference which are going to dive deeper into this. Let me show you uh, the results. For instance, by looking at my corporate cash flow statement. Of course, again, what I need to do is make sure that I'm looking at the right piece and the right part of my business. In this particular example, just at my corporate structure, launching my report, picking up all of the necessary information on the fly. And again, it's still all there across all of those different dimensions. All of my financial and other business dimensions, like my product and so on, as I mentioned before, they're still all there. Interesting to see as well is that from a reporting perspective, we've on the fly at the same time added a lot of additional intelligence as well. Because if we look at a cash flow statement, and typically if you ask around in your organization, what is your definition of the, let's say, operational cash flow following the indirect method, you asked 10 people and you get 12 answers because everybody's got their own ideas. So it's important to make sure that we can, let's say, group the necessary movements and pieces of information all together. And just to illustrate that it's really not so much of an issue to do so, I'm just going to show you or illustrate, try to illustrate how that works. It's only one part of the puzzle. And of course, we are still looking at the result and not, not necessarily the functional setup. But here, for instance, my cash flow is being, let's say, filled by a combination of number of different accounts. Not all of the elements in the account, we would have to drill down a little deeper in order to indicate which movements we are looking at and so on and so forth. But hey, that's again for later. Again, I could, just for the purpose of illustration, move in my partner unit here as one example, which would give me a complete overview, because of course we are looking now at consolidated figures on which relationships and which part of the business is helping me to get a healthy cash flow in this particular example. Another piece of the puzzle, which typically is the first one that a lot of business users are looking at, is, is my PL. Right? My gross margin, build up by revenue, cost of goods sold, and so on and so forth. What might str strike you is that here we are accidentally looking at a slightly different look and feel, but in the end, we're still linked to exactly the same data set, again to my universal journal across all of those different dimensions. Not only based on my actuals, but also including some forecasts or predictive amounts. Because that's another very important element that everybody is asking for in the business. It's very interesting to know where my profit, for instance, in this case, is coming from or has been coming from till now. But it's at least as important to understand where it might come from in the future and how I can influence that as a, in the best possible way. Again, on entity level as well as group level. If I want to now adapt it and change it around, well, why not adapt or create a new plan again for the UK? And just a very s small entry here. Adding some other income, just as a simple illustration, which is automatically disaggregated in the background across my different, different individual periods here in order to again steer my business in a better way than I've been able to do before. I can easily match that back and bring it together with my actuals by just pushing this button. Because in fact, my planning data here again can very easily be saved, saved back into my universal journal, into my single source of truth from a financial perspective. And from that same place, I can also again just use my consolidation engine, which I have in there, to not only be launched on top of my actuals, but based on my plan data as well. Just by simply jumping back, I end up in exactly the same place in my consolidation monitor from where I could launch my consolidated plan figures or my divisional plan figures or whatever level of detail you might be interested in. Interested in. 
All because of the fact that, let's say, the planning engine, the constellation environment are so nicely integrated now with the S4 HANA environment that I have all of that information at my fingertips. That's what I want to, to share with you, and I would like to hand you back to Mike. Thanks a lot, Michelle.